I'm gonna say this one more time too. Any nigga, bro, come on, man. We all done been outside. Any mm-hmm. nigga, if we ain't trying to, we, bro. You hit a, you you kill a nigga, bro, in broad daylight and spend the day in Camaro, bro, around facing oncoming traffic, nigga. bro. That's not a normal crime, fam. Nah, it ain't. That's not a normal, bro. Nigga, ain't getting down like that. It's on normal. That's a jail mission. That's a TDC mission. You know you gone. This shit don't go right. Yeah. And you turn the car around the opposite way facing traffic. Man, somebody paid them niggas to do that. Yeah. Let's stop playing, bro. Wow. Them niggas ain't jumped out the window like that. Like I said on the show, the dude who you see chasing Mo3 down, that ain't Devin Brown. That's not, you know what I mean? That ain't, that ain't the baby daddy of the girl. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. The, the, the thing I, 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 I found, man, is the, the fact of how you stayed in tune with it, how when you was speaking, you was basically, you was running down through there, and you said that you didn't think, like, you was like, nah, this was something, this wasn't just, this was a hit or something. Yeah, and you may tell you Explain why I say that. that. Explain me, that to me. Look, I'm going to say this because the reason I say that, bro, is because simply one reason. Okay. You know, because Mo3 said it. Really? Yeah, Mo3 said it. I only, I only said that I feel like it was a hit on Mo3 because Mo3 said, if I got money on my head, I'm hearing this, yeah, I'm hearing he that, I'm hearing it. Yeah, I'm hearing this trying to kill me. He been- the ops, nigga, I said what I said. They want me dead because I got these That's so, all his songs say about it. All yeah. his songs tell you what's going on. So you that's why I feel him. like, why would I not? I'm going to go with what he thought was going on with his own life. Right, why would I Something if he said that hit on me, I, be, I That's believe. what Soldier Slim's mother said about if you want to know anything about her son, go I, in her episode. She said, "Go listen to his music." Listen to the music, and that's what you're really saying. Like, exactly. Go, I listen to the music, listen and to the interviews, the music. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So on top of that, like I said, I'm gonna say this one more time too. Any nigga, bro, come on, man. We all done been outside. Any mm-hmm. nigga, if we ain't trying to, we, bro. You hit a, you you kill a nigga, bro in broad daylight and spin the damn Camaro, bro, around facing oncoming traffic. Nigga. Bro, that's not a normal crime, fam. Nah, it ain't. That's not a normal, bro. Nigga, down like that is on normal. That's a jail mission. That's a TDC mission. You know you gone. This shit don't go right. Yeah. And you turn the car around the opposite way facing traffic. Man, somebody paid them to do that. Yeah. Bro. Let's stop playing, bro. Wow. Them niggas ain't jumped out the window like that. Like I said on the show, the dude who you see chasing Mo3 down, that ain't Devin Brown. That's not, you know what I mean? That ain't that ain't the baby daddy of the girl. So I feel like who did it? I don't know who's behind it, but it's I feel like it's a bag behind it. Was it. A who's group. behind the bag? It was a group. I don't know. It was a group of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when you, I know I, I spoke to Kogati a little bit about it. Mm-hmm. And one thing he assured me was that it was a still ongoing investigation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's what he told me. Yeah. And I, I was like, no, nah, didn't they catch the people? No, nah, like, they didn't catch them. He said, no. Nah. Well, now, now, now they do got two people in custody for well, what he we know. said that. It's an ongoing investigation. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's not, not for that murder, though. They're not, they're not for that murder, what they got them for. That's not for that. That's what he said. No, that's well, not I'm for gonna that. Well, I'm going to say this. Um, far as what they locked up for, I, I mean. No, that's some other charges. I didn't keep up no, no, with no. it. No, no, no. Let me say this. Let me say this. Devin Brown and, and uh, Banzo Bling both had previous cases yeah. already. Yeah. So, but they got, but don't get it fucked up. They got them down there for the murder of Mo3, but it has, I don't know if they put the charges on them yet, but that's, no. what they, that's what they got them down there for. Remember, the girl Jossie, who Mo3 leaving her crib, Y'all, she the one who told the police he did it. She the one who told the laws, it's something weird about this nigga popping up at my crib at 10 o'clock in the morning. He don't even with his kids like that. What, what was he doing here? So remember, she the one who led the police to her own baby daddy and this, and this other nigga. Not the bloggers, not no... Brother, bro, it was the girl Mo3 hit last. Last, you know what I mean? Jocelyn, yeah. the girl he, he was kicking it with last. She called the Dallas police and went and did an interview, sat down and said something ain't right. Somebody killed that boy up the street leaving my house and my baby daddy's popped up out of nowhere. She gave him that information, bro. Salute to her mama, T-Topic. She be on my show all the time. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so that's where that information came from with the dude. Everybody think this is like some kind of conspiracy. No, his own baby mama said, I believe he play a part in this. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.